All right, let's try this again. Hello, everyone. It's your Booth Ice Booth here. Welcome back with a new mic and everything. And hopefully this time it actually sounds loud enough that people can hear me. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Genshin Impact. I said, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Um... Why is it? OBS, you're embarrassing me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Hopefully, people can hear me. I'm gonna wait to see if anyone, like, if people can hear me, real fast before we start. Tweet, do I come in good? Like, uh, can you can you hear my voice coming in? Oh, sweet. Okay, so the new mic works. Uh, I'd like to thank my old webcam mic for uh, always being so good to me for so long, but it's been so it's so sensitive that I'm so glad I have the new mic now, with the pop filter on it, too. <laughs> yeah, anyways, welcome back. Uh, I think I said that about like five times now. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be doing... Genshin and taking care of the Aranara stuff. I'm gonna double check real fast because I think I may have left my door open. No, I did. I actually kept it closed. All right, sweet. So we still have to find three more Aranara, then find. Four more Aranara. Bless you. We have to look for Arasaka. Look at a pot emitting an aroma. I wonder what that could be. And look for Arafala. According to Ara Tora. And then we have to get some Bija. Aran Aranyaka. Ar Ar Aranyaka, or Aranyaka, Aranyaka. Then we have to look for. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do. And then someone's lost in the sand. Anyways, uh, let's configure my party first. Uh, it's all messy from doing uh, commissions and uh, bounties. Uh, I do want to keep Toma, but rest swap. Noel, let's grab. I haven't used Yunjin in forever. Let's get this show on the road. And. Mm -hmm. Oh, that doesn't make the. Swap out Toma. Let's take, um, hmm, man, I'm really stumped now who I want to take. Sorry about that. Uh, had to answer a question. Um, 
man, I'm, this stream now of me just deciding who I want to take on, on this. Okay, I think, I think I'll be fine without a Claymore, so let's just take... Official. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Okay, we should be fine. <sighs> oh, they're back over here. It, am I going to teleport to, my safe, to the secret spot? The secret spot? Come on, let's go. Do we get to be in the secret spot? Oh, okay, we're not in the secret spot. Anyway, we gotta find an R and R that's over here. Last I thought was that cooking pot, so they could be anywhere. Ever notice how like they always have these um they always have like the, the thing in the center of like the radius where you had to search. Oh man, this guy looks like he's ready to have a fun cookout. He's just jamming out. <laughs> Look at him, he's just jamming. You consume the dew and grow up quickly. Hello, you're Ara. Ara, what was it again? Are you Ara Picati's elder brother? That's smart. No thank you, fatherless. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be a uh, parasocial person. Parental social? One of those things. That's smart. Grow, grow, turn into a delicious dish. He doesn't seem to notice us. Let me just get in front of the peaches here. You consume the dew and grow quickly. Arasaka? Well, I'm gonna take the peaches. Sara, so tall, so scary. Please, I beg you, don't pluck them. Okay, we won't do it. Great, hee hee. I grew these Zaitun peaches little by little, ever since they were seeds. Wait, no, Fadnar. How could you do that to someone else's Zaitun peaches? What? Why does Nara have such a terrible habit? We didn't do anything and haven't picked them. Already scary when you guys didn't show do anything. If you had really done something, it would have it would scare me to death. Hey. No no, Arasaka. You worked so hard in these Zayton peaches for your cooking training. You cannot back out here. You are not scared. So you're Arasaka. H how do you know my name? Were you the Nara were, were you Nara? Come all come from to know my name at first sight. You said it yourself. Problems are caused by a loose tongue. It's over. My name will be used in terrible curses. Please, please, spare me. I want the R and R to become markable plushies. Yeah, I can definitely see that happening. Other than giving you these agent peaches, I will do anything. Easy now. We're actually here because of Ara Picati's request. Ar Arpkati? Ah, my dear younger sister. Sunlight in the dense forest. You bring Arasaka up to speed of the event so far. Ah, how can festival Utsava is already approaching? Oh, are you two the Nara who, who have come to participate in this festival, Utsava? Sorry for calling you bad Nara. You must be the good Nara only because good Nara can enter Banarana and participate in the festival Utsava. Festival Utsava is coming. If I give my cooking trip, if I give up my cooking training and return to Varanara now, no. But I cannot skip Festival Utsava either. Why are you getting more nervous instead? Don't you still have the Zaytun peaches you planted? That's not enough. 
there has to be the taste of happiness without it. Zaytun peaches will be Zaytun peaches. Ara to Tora, Ara Pas, and Ara Fala all don't believe that the taste of happiness exists. I will bake it and show them. And I want Nara to try to. The taste of happiness we're talking about is. <laughs> taste of happiness. I tried it once. Taste of happiness. It's white. Crumbles when you can't rub it. Turns into white beluka. But is not hard and painful like beluka. Stored in a hard bubble. Hard bubble? White beluka refers to white sand, right? But that. What's a hard bubble? My mind can't figure it out. Where can we find that taste of happiness? Why are you asking me? Do you take the taste of happiness before I do? How scary. Ah, Paimon, you're so scary. Hey, Paimon just wants to help Arasaka. Wait, you said it right that time. Paimon's getting the names correct. Wow. Help me? With what? I can get it myself. It's just that there are a lot of Nara walking about. And one that smells like na Nara, Beluka. Ugh, too many na Nara. I'm scared. If there were fewer Nara, I could do it then. Okay, true. I can't get it. I, I don't dare enter Ganharaville. There are too many Nara there, and all the dead trees. I'm scared. Oh, hey, Angel. Oh, sweet, you got on your on your PS4. I have Nara friend living inside. A long, long time has passed. He's changed now and can't hear my voice. So the taste of happiness you're talking about can actually be found in Gunharaville? It isn't Gunhara, it's Gunharva. The taste of happiness is not grown from the ground, but made by Nara. I really want to taste it again. I still remember the first time I tasted it. And how happy I was. It was an amazing, amazing taste. We were in the forest together with the Nara friend, counting the number of patches of the su sunlight that fell between the leaves. We sang together and tried the taste of happiness together. Every time I see the sunlight on branches, I think of him. I will think of him. Every time I think of him, I remember the taste of happiness. So I want to let Arapakari taste it. When the festival of Sava starts, I want Nara to taste it too. I'm on seas. Then leave it to Pylestin and Paimon. Right, Pylestin? I too want happiness. Really? You are not lying to me? Nope. But there are so many people in Gunharvaville. Who should we ask for clues? <clears throat> Excuse me. I know, not long ago, I saw Anara passing by here, going to Gunharvaville. And he had it with him. He had a bulging thing on his back. It's what Nara used to carry things. A bulge on the back. Probably a bag or a basket. Got it. We'll help you find the taste of happiness now. Well, we're gonna go find sugar. Look, I can only imagine it's sugar or flour. Or cocaine. But let's not assume it's that. Okay, which one of you guys got a basket on your back? He. Ionesh. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. I just predicted everything they said. To be aware. Wait, aware of what? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, to be what's happening? What's going on? What? I notice sometimes as I continue to listen, I hear you for the most part, but you, sometimes you sound far away. Oh! 
Sorry, I'm, I'm moving my head away from the mic. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to make sure I keep my head... My, my, I'll try to make sure I keep myself aware of what I'm doing with my head. Right, we actually want to want a certain thing. Of course, everyone who comes here to get a certain thing. But just saying a certain thing doesn't mean I know what this certain thing is. Oh, Paimon gets it. Let Paimon put this in this way. We want something white and cubic. White and cubic. Right, and it crumbles like sand when crushed, and it has to be packed in a hard bubble. What a peculiar description. It's not clear what this is from what you said, and but what does this white and cubic thing you described do? The use of the thing. You know what it's used for, right? It's for cooking. Cooking white cubic. Is it a seasoning? Oh, I know what you want. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> white cubic crumbles when crushed, becomes sand, and can be eaten. Isn't that just sugar? A hard bubble. Are you talking about that glass bottle that sugar is stored in? Oh my goodness, hard bubble. <laughs> oh, so it's... Oh, this is awkward. Oh, I laughed so much I cried. I've focused on my business the last few years and don't even remember when was the last time I laughed like this. Speaking of which, it's really nostalgic. I remember a long time ago when I, still had, when I was still a child. I once had a friend who ate sugar for the first time and the friend said similar things. This white cubic thing is delicious, so awesome, the taste of happiness. He was really amazed then. Haha, <laughs> it was so long ago, and now I think about it, I don't even remember what he looked like. Oh, I'll give you this bottle of sugar as a gift in return for the laughter. Thanks. Hold it carefully. The hard bubble might be hard, but it can still break if dropped. <laughs> hard bubble. Ha 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 ha. So the taste of happiness is the sweetness of sugar. It was a little embarrassing, but at least we got it in the end. Let's bring this bottle of sugar to Aranaki, Arasaka now. I think the best thing about this mic is that it kind of, um... It forces me to, like, uh, remember to sit upright, which is really good. It helps with my uh, posture. <laughs> It also keeps you from looking off to the side. Hello, Arasaka. Arasaka, this is the taste of happiness you wanted, right? You brought it back from Gun Harvaville. I have a ton of this. Oh! That's the one. I didn't think you would get it so quickly. Is it real? You didn't just make up something, make something up to trick me, right? It would be a miracle if we were able to make anything that made sense, that made sense up from your description. If you're worried, just try it yourself. You didn't put anything strange in it, did you? Of course not. Hmm. If you're trying, if you're not trying it, we're going to take it away. No, wait. Don't take it away. Let me... Let me, let me try it. Don't take it away, all right? I'll try it now. Just right now. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's real. This is the taste of happiness. Hee <laughs> hee. This isn't the first time I've tasted it, and yet I still feel happy. I didn't expect to ever taste this again. Ah, uh, but... Ah, oh, what's wrong? Well, how should I put this? The taste of happiness is the same as before, but for some reason I don't feel as happy as the first time I tasted it. Could it be that the sugar he gave us was not sweet enough? No, it's a different in the taste. It's not a different it's not a difference in the taste. But when I ate it with my friend in the past, that was the first time I tasted the taste of happiness. Somehow I feel I was much happier back then. 
Why is that? That's normal. Even if it's the same dish, it tastes is different every time Kylesin makes it. Paimon's mood is different every time Paimon eats it too. Indeed. No, it can't be. There must be a way for me to be as happy as then. Oh, these these guys have such. Yeah. Oh, these guys are so innocent. I know. I had it with my friend at the time. So the taste of happiness has to be shared with friends for it to be delicious, right? That must be it. You are good, Nara, and you found the taste of happiness. You are my friends. I'm going to make it for you. Yeah, we're friends. Arasaka starts cooking right away and adds peaches and sugar into the pot. Nothing but peaches and sugar into the pot. Arasaka then hands the finished product to you and Paimon. As expected, it doesn't have much flavor other than the overwhelming sweetness. Maybe this is just the taste of happiness. Ah, what a fl happy flavor. It's exquisite. Yes, the dish is quite... Quite happy. I need water. Paimon thinks it's too it's it's much too sweet too. Really? I guess I must have put too much in one go then. <laughs> it's the true it's, it's true that the taste of happiness is ha happier when shared with friends. It is different from the happiness I felt the first time I had it, but eating it with you guys, I feel a different kind of happiness. Well, I need water. I had doubts about you got this from the beginning. But I didn't hold any grudge, and you helped me find the taste of happiness. I was able to complete my supreme delicacy with your help and complete my cooking training. It's nothing, really. No? How is it nothing? You've helped me so much. It's right. That's right, I know. I'll teach you how to make this dish so you can share the taste of happiness with your friends. Hmm, if you modify the formula and add a little something extra, it should make a good snack. Selva salad. Where is it? I want to see what this looks like. Where is it? All right, where is it? The Selva salad. It is there. It is. Oh, that's nice. Investigate the pot emitting the aroma. Okay, well that's ominous. Ah, uh, the Sumeru World Tour. Well, this one's gonna be fun. I, I can already tell. Leaf with careless pen chip. A huge leaf. Someone has written on it with messy handwriting. The seventeenth time frost covered the leaves. After some tests, I noticed that, I noticed that water from tributaries is filled with sand and mud. It has an earthen state, taste, not acceptable. The thirtieth time frost covered the leaves, it's raining again, not acceptable. 
sixtieth time crossing the leaf. After some tests, I noticed that water from the river's main stem makes much more aromatic soup, but it isn't enough. Not acceptable. The eightieth time frost covered the wind leaves. It rained as soon as I finished my soup. Luckily, I wore a hat. Hmm. The quality of this water isn't bad. Well, let's investigate. Whoa! What's cooking in there? Paimon's mouth is watering from just a whiff of it. It's like some kind of soup. Paimon can't tell what's inside. I think I lost him. What is it? The person cooking this isn't here, and it smells so good. Let's have a mouthful while a mouthful while it's left unattended. We shouldn't do that. Paimon is just so curious. Ugh. Uh, Paimon will just take one mouthful. Just one. And what if you get a tummy ache after? Hmm. Don't you underestimate Paimon. The pot is smaller than it looks. The soup is the soup within it is gone after all just that. Huh? It smells good, but why doesn't Paimon taste anything? Great Ara Muhu Kunda. What are you Nara doing? Ara Nara? Where did you come from? From underground. Forget that. Why are you drinking my soup? Arapaz worked very hard on that. It was Paimon. Hey, Fair Lestin, how could you betray Paimon like that? I don't care who drank it. My soup is gone. Do you know how difficult it is to make soup here? One minute it's rainy, one minute it's sunny. I finally managed to make this pot of soup, but while I was away picking fresh hara fruits, you... It smelled too good to resist. But if it's that difficult, why are you cooking here? Hmm. The key to cooking must be collected every day, which is... The will to never forget your dreams? Water! It's water! Water has a huge impact on aroma of my soup. So it has to be made with the best water. I've been collecting water throughout Apam Woods to make soup with. After collecting water samples as numerous as the leaves on a tree, I finally found the best living spring. It's the only water source fit for Festival Utsava's supreme delicacy. You wouldn't get it, even if I told you. Only that Nara from before. Speaking of which, Ara Pakati has sent us. You speed, bring out the speed. And I'm gonna sip water. Ah! You're Nara friends of my sister, and Festival Utsava is coming. It's fine. I found Living Spring. My supreme delicacy is complete. It's in this pot. Oh. Right. Judgmental silence. Ehehe. <laughs> Don't be sad. At least your soup is really aromatic. Ah, my living spring. Perhaps Shavana live at its source. I waited so long for them to leave and only collected a pot of it. Wait, is my door closed? I just realized now because my brother came up to ask me a question. I gotta put a sign on my door to close it. Alrighty. By the way, I like this guy's hat. Or his head. His mushroom top head. I like it. It's pointy and red. And it has a little soup bowl in it. No. You must get me another pot of living spring. Ap Shivana? What's that? 
you really, you Nara really know nothing about the forest. They live in the water, they have four legs, a tail, and they bite. Dogs? Perhaps ocean and dogs. Ah, right. And what's an Apshavana? Apshavana. Forget that. I want my water. I want living spring from there in particular. All right, all right. Hey, Leston, we don't have a choice here. Let's go. Right. It must be living spring and no other. Yeah, I, I love the echo effect. I'm sorry if it gets annoying at points. I'm, I'm going to be very diligent in trying to just not use it that much, but only just for, like, uh, small parts. All right, we got the living spring. I think that was the fastest collection we've done. Hm. Both of you are bad, Nara. Don't even think about tricking me with water from somewhere else. And give. Hmm. This, it is the water from the river source. The living spring that's cold and clean, just like moonlight. Ara Tithora, Arasaka, and Arafala wouldn't be so stupid if they grew up drinking this water. Only Arapakati. My sister. Well, what's next? Next up, you have to make me a new pot of soup. Okay. Receiving guidance from, Arapa, from Arapaz, you add some fruits and vegetables into the water and start cooking. A rather nice aroma slowly emerges from the pot. Once you're done, you taste the fresh soup together. Uh, you taste the fresh soup together. It sort of lives up to your expectations does carry the aroma from the of the ingredients. But a soup without any condiments is just too plain. It has no flavor at all. Mmm, this is how the supreme delicacy should smell. What do you think? It can quench thirst as soup should. Paimon thinks it would be better with some salt and pepper. Well, everything is better with salt and pepper. Great, Aramuko. Uhukunda, you want to add salt? What a horrifying idea! Life, land with salt is land without life, and Ara Nara will be forced to shrink into seeds. Yet Nara wished to add salt? Soups are supposed to be bland. How do you, Nara, not even understand that? Oh man. Um, can you believe this, guys? Salt is too spicy for the Nara. The Aranara finds salt too spicy. <laughs> oh no. Salt. Oh, the whole thing is too spicy now. That Nara from before told us a story after having a bowl of my soup. When we Nara children come home, the aroma of soup is the first smell we, thing we smell. As such, aroma is all a soup needs. After that, she complimented the aroma of the soup I made. I've never forgotten that. That's why I won't believe a word you say. But just aroma isn't enough. Humph. Hm, oh. But since you're the Nara of this festival, I, I'm sure you've received approval from Ar Araja and Arapakati. So, I'll try making a soup with Taste. Next time, I'll look for even better water, so we can make even better soup. I don't think water is the problem. Really? 
Anyway, my cooking training has concluded. All right, let's see what we can do about this at Festival Utsava. I've taught you how to make the soup. It's a soup approved by the great Nara. So do give it a few more tries. And make sure you don't forget to use good water. Hey, Leston, let's add some seasoning next time. It should be pretty good after that. Cook. To cook. Fire it up! Cook. Malasala cheese balls. <gasps> what? How did we get cheese balls from soup? Paimon, explain. Explain, what do you mean we got cheese balls out of soup? Oh, it's part of the soup. Oh, we need to make spice for that. Well, let me just, uh... Let's just get started on that. Wait, is that really the next quest? No, the next one's over there. Okay, so we'll be back for that one. Oh. <sighs> we got a hike there. It's time for another Sumeru hike. I should make that a little... I should do like a little animatic thing of that. Well, let's uncover any treasure I find along the way. And there's another quest. These things just pop up anywhere. Oh wait, this is the Withering Zone. Perfect. They're ominously going towards me right now. Magoria. Why are you still alive? 
Has brought me hither. Oh, sorry, am I too am I too far away from the mic? My bad. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm still getting used to this using a a, uh, a more sensitive mic. Well, like less sensitive, more uh, muted in a sense. Oh right, we have the harp. Uh, where is that music harp? Yeah, why not? Where's the flute? Nara's friend, Nara's, Nara friend's music has the feel of the woods. Good Nara, you come in, you're welcome in Vanarana. Ara Na Ara Nara will wait for you there. Well, thank you. Enter and exit Dreamscapes. This is the only one this is also one of the tunes that can quickly get Ara Nara to recognize you. Neat. I don't know what that is. But it looks like we're going to figure it out. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I guess I step here. Oh, I see. Harvest. Illustrious name. Hup. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the hell? business. Such a great 
I can't actually combat. <laughs> Finders keepers. It's it's just so much more useful than any than anything at this point. I'd be surprised if people aren't using a uh, dendro at least. It's just one of the uh, many effects it has. Ooh, that's huge. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fire it up! Flags up! Unleash! Your grand finale! Flag fly! Check this out! Here's backup! Flags up! And step! Break a leg! Spring forth! Don't get too close! Oz, reveal thyself! Flag fly! Strike is one! Flags up! I love Dendro. Makes me more hyped for Nahida since she is the Dendro Archon. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Here's the camp at Arif Arifa. Arifa. Uh. Oh. Oh. Piece of fruit. What did the note say? A huge leaf. Leaves turned yellow. I picked a fresh and tasty sunsetia. Branches turned green. I didn't find any fruits. Leaves are groaning again, and 40 moons have passed. I picked sunsetias outside the campsite and brought them back into Vanarana, but sister said they are still very unripe. If you skip her, do you think you might get her in a rerun? Yeah, I might, I might get her in a rerun. I'm just, I'm really dead set on getting I'll hate them and uh, buys you right now. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat. And... Yeah, I'll just leave this... I'll leave the subtle uh, music playing. And, uh, yeah. BRB.
I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a quick dinner. Because I had a big lunch. And now we are back. To following the fruit trail. Oh. Oh, look at this big chungus. Hi there. Snore, snore. Hi. Hey. Hello? Mmm. Tasty fruits. Snore. Ah, oh, he's in a deep slumber. All right. Our Picotti mentioned the power of Dendro should do the trick. I'm gonna leave it to you, Kai Leston. Whoop Oh, it's you. Long time no see. Whoa. Where am I? Is this a cave? Oh, Humphill is Disney. Who are you? Why are you sleeping here? Oh my. Oh, so dizzy. Let me think. My name is. My name is Arafala. Hee <laughs> hee. I remember now. Sir Arafala, we were wondering where you'd gone, and here you were, sleeping in this cave the whole time. I'm sorry, I have a really bad memory. I forget if I was if I closed the door. This, this is gonna be an ongoing theme for the stream. Uh, I gotta keep checking. I'm gonna have to keep checking non-stop, and it's gonna be annoying. Ara Fala, you know my name. Eh? Nara? He's wide awake now. Indeed he is. Stop, I'm not ready yet. Don't make porridge out of me. Why would anyone want to make porridge out of you? My sister said that if I'm, I'm always half asleep like this, a bad Nara will take me and make porridge out of me. No one will make you into porridge. Really? Really? No kidding. Not kidding. No, no kidding. Anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and this tall Nara is Kai Leston. Arapakati sent us. Arapakati? Is he doing well? How long have I been here? How long, you say? Well, Paimon recalls correctly. Uh, many, many moons. The seedlings sprouted from the earth and became trees. How many Arapakatis tall were they again? Seven. Oh. As expected of Kai Leston. What an amazing memory. Oh, it's been so long. Oh no. Anyways, let's bring up to speed. Festival Utsaba is coming up. We bring him up to speed on the events so far. Ah, it's time for Festival Utsaba, is it? Yeah, so Arapakati wants you back in Aranara, uh, Vanarana. Ugh, but I haven't completed my cooking training yet. Huh? Weren't you sleeping? Paimon thought... Sleeping? Oh, I was just thinking about the past. It wasn't that serious. Huh. Is sleeping something serious for Aranara? Hmm. How should I put this? We hibernate when we are in grave danger, and we compress our memories and dreams into a seed. If the crisis is averted, and the time is right, the seed will return to the forest and grow into Aranara again. Paimon, can you turn into a seed? Hey, do you, have, do you have any problem with Paimon? But I know all Nara must sleep. I had a Nara friend once. A golden Nara, just like you. I once came here with, that, with her to gather the unrivaled fresh fruits. So I've been picking them here since then. If she returns, or if I make new Nara friends, we can eat them together. I've picked so many of them this time. Where do they go? So it's you who dropped those sunsetti as we saw all, all along the way. Did I drop that many? But it's okay. <laughs> I've kept the freshest and tastiest with me. But still, how many did I? How did I drop so many? I remember leaving with my brothers for cooking training, but 
didn't know what fresh fruits are, didn't know that fresh fruits are the best ingredients. But while I was picking fruits, yes, while I was picking fruits, a really huge monster appeared. That monster was five Arafalas tall and had a long tail. Even the ground quaked beneath its stubs. Besides that, I think I sensed Marana's Ma aura inside it. And it was so tough. Even the even if Arama and Arabalika were here were there, it would take them some effort to tear it apart. Wait, they are that strong? Yes, but I am but I'm not. So I had to hide here. I was thinking about the past while I waited for it to leave. And the next thing I knew, you two were standing in front of me. Speaking of which, we did see that a ruined drake on the way here. Is that the huge monster you mentioned? Is that how Nara called it? Perhaps. Very likely. Ah, that huge monster. You have taken care of it. Whoa, I didn't expect Nara Kylestan, who looks smaller than the monster, to be so strong. Alright, then let's go. Good Nara, let's eat fruits together. You know, I've actually been thinking about this with, um... Oh, how far does this go? Oh, this leads to the cavern. Neat. Yeah, I've been thinking about, um... How... Helioverse mentioned a... An anime they're making of Genshin Impact. And I've, I've come to realize that when they first show off the the Ruin Guard and Ruin Creatures, they're gonna have to make those like the most like some of the scariest things ever, because let's be honest, when we first found our first Ruin Guard or Ruin Hunter. They are terif they were terrifying at low level, so they gotta they gotta try and do something like that. The next time. Like like when they show it in like the they do it in the in the anime. That's my that's my thought, is that they gotta do that. Okay, let's start cooking with the unrivaled fresh fruits. What's the difference between this unrivaled fresh fruit and ordinary fruits? I understand. Tanara. All fruits may be the same, but they are different. Only strong trees can bear unrivaled fresh fruits. Strong trees sing first when the wind blows. The bearings of the strong trees. These unrivaled fresh fruits are a blessing to us. That Nara friend said these fruits are so tasty they sing in your stomach. Paimon can't wait to see what kind of delicacy will be made from them. Arafala starts cooking right away. He divides the fruit equally, and he gives a few portions to you and Paimon. You try the fruits, the fresh fruits together. You're they live up to being fresh fruits. So good. Thank you, strong trees. Wait, you call that cooking? The unrivaled fresh fruit itself is the best supreme delicacy. It doesn't need any extra processing to present its best taste. Just taste it and you will understand. It is tasty, but it's just, it's like eating fruits. I mean, it is a fruit after all. Yeah, Paimon guesses so. Don't you, Nara, have a dish where you cut fruits and serve them on a wooden board together? Oh, a charcuterie board. We do? Wait, are you talking about a fruit platter? Is a fruit platter considered a dish? I would call it an appetizer or a snack, but I think so. Still seems a bit strange to Paimon. Oh, don't be a stickler for things like that. Finding better ingredients is a form of cooking, too. While searching for ingredients, I can travel the forest and get closer to it. That's the true meaning of my cooking training. Is it? Paimon's asking the real questions here. And this guy's denying it. This guy is living in pure copium. It sure is. I know, I'm not living in a midlife crisis. As you can see, Arafala is living at the best life. If you can't, if you, 
if you just get the fruits and don't cook, you don't have to worry about messing it up. I don't live in fear every day of wondering if my dishes will soon become terrible. I've picked the best, I've picked unrivaled fresh fruits, and made my supreme delicacy. My cooking training is complete. I can return proudly to Fa Vanarana. This man. This man just took like his final exam at like, in like college and all he and all he did was just write his name and turn in the sheet saying he wrote down the correct answer. This man is so low effort. This guy just wrote yes on every question and it was all multiple choice. Oh, I would have missed Festival Utsava if Nara, Kyleston, and Paimon didn't take care of that huge monster that blocked me here in this cave. Uh, Alright, hurry back to Avanarana. Indeed, indeed. Sister will scold me if I miss Festival Utsava. Just the thought of it is scary enough. Follow. Oh, he's falling asleep. Let me just uh, give him a quick little. Uh... Oh, I, I made things worse. I made things so much worse. <laughs> this was not my intention. Okay. So we have to head back to Vanarana now. Now that we have the cooking completed. And that might just be no, that's not gonna be all we have to do. There's gonna be other things to do. Yes, I am a chaos wolf. <laughs> Look, if I don't spread chaos everywhere I go, either intentionally or by accident, am I really doing my best? The gang's all here. The organization would like to see you now. Arapakati is so mad. Ah, more mad than mad. The forest is very dangerous as, Ma as Marana is rampant there. When they left, our Bacati reminded brothers to work together. But you started arguing right after leaving. Arachatora, you even ate strange, you even ate strange thing. Sob. Our Bacati has decided. Arachatora, not allowed to pick mushrooms until Sensetias have ripened ten times. No. Sob. Exactly. What would we do if he brought back bad spores and mushrooms and mushroom monsters grew that grew here? Arafala, you too. You went so far away from Vanarana to collect fruits. There are many bad things over there. Araja told us about it especially. Sob. That's right. Fruits need drink water and Ar Aranara need drink water, so water is the best. Arapus, of all places, had to go to the Varuna contraption. Don't you know that even Nara Varuna said the water of Vanarana is the most delicious? Sob. You, you see, only the taste of happiness can bring happiness to our little sister. Arasaka, I heard you caused a lot of trouble to, for Nara Kailestin because of your taste of happiness. 
I still require water. I still need water. The sweetness was too much. I need all the water I can get. Everything I did was for the supreme delicacy. The purpose of making supreme delicacy is to show the fruits of the cooking training. Alas, what's the point of training if you only complete it with someone else's help? Ara Picati thinks Arasaka needs to reflect on himself the most. Sob. Ara Picati, we're here. Oh, it's you two. Nara Kailestin shared Ara Picati's trouble with Paimon and solved the problem at its source. Ara Picati no longer needs to worry about Brothers Missing Festival Utsava. Oh god, it's a... Twee, you would just give me, like, a, a big glass of, like, sugar diluted in water and call it a drink. Yes, I wound. Yes, you certainly have wound. You would wound me with that. I uh, would. Arapakati no longer needs to worry about brothers missing the festival of Utsava or being in danger outside. It's all thanks to you. Arapakati and brothers are all thankful. That's great. But there's something Paimon has always been curious about. Yeah, who is Nara Varuna? She is our friend. Friend of Vanarana. A friend of Aranara from a long, long time ago. A golden Nara just like Nara Kailesta. The Paimon still got another question for you. Is it about her brothers? Yes. Arapakati, which of them is your biggest brother, and which one's the smallest? Hmm? The biggest and the smallest? Their ages. Ages? Ah, Arapakati understands. Like the tree rings. Hmm. Children of the forest aren't distinguished by age. Then why are your brother? Why are they your brothers? And why are, th and why are you their younger sister? Oh, this. We once had a Nara friend, Nara Varuna. She said she had a brother. When Arapakati and brothers listen listen to her talk about the brother, Nara Varuna looked happy and sad at the same time. Oh, I'm starting to connect the dots. That's how we understood. To an older brother. The younger sister is important. I heard something. The younger sister is important, Nara. To a younger sister, an older brother is an important Nara. We thought it was great, so Ara Pakati and brothers decided to become brothers and sisters. Nara Varuna said this was great. We should cherish our family. Hmm, <coughs> sorry. That's right, we must cherish our family. Hmm. There's one more thing Paimon has, Paimon's been wondering. Do Aranara need to eat? Humans cook ingredients into food, and the children of the forest can also make ingredients into food. Nara Varuna taught us how Nara eats. That's why Ara Pakati and brothers started doing cooking training. Okay, but that's certainly unusual. It's like you're playing a... It's like you're playing house. Ara Pakati and brothers are very serious because Nara Varuna said that, said that to be able to share food is a very happy thing. Oh, and Arapa said that Nara Kailesin knows how to cook, too. Yeah, Kailesin cooking skills have been tested by time. Arapakati gets it. Nara Kailestin must come to Festival Utsava and cook with Arapakati's Bush League brothers. Impress them once again with cooking, real cooking skills and food that only Nara can understand, and Ara Nara will never understand. Try not to be surprised by them. Oh. Arapakati is looking forward to it. This festival, Utsava, will be a really great and amazing. I am now the Master Chef. Oh, now it's time to 
Adventure with Aranara. Oh, is that the quest right there? See. Hmm. Is this an Aranara painting? It's rude to tamper around. Hmm. Who knows how many adventurer camps and treasure chests we have rummaged through? Let's put this away. We didn't see Aranara anywhere near the house, and we were worried, so we'd rather see if there were any leads. We might even help some trapped Aranara. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course. Anyway. Seems like the painting depicts some views near here, right? Maybe like maybe it's a treasure map. Alright, Lesson, we should go spot we should go to the spot shown in the painting. Maybe we'll find some treasure left by Aranara. That is the wrong quest. Okay. Oh, I have to just oh, I have to go to these. I just started another ward quest by accident. I think. Or not. Let's look at the, the let's look at the thing. That's not it. Nope, not that either. I don't know where to go. Oh, that's the quest. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Let's get on with the R&R &R stuff. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to hike. Simple walk. Ar Arama's over here. Well, we found Arama. We meet again, Arama. Oh. Nara Kalestin and Paimon. Hello.
I forgot to unmute. I thought I hit mute. I thought I hit unmute. God damn it. I really wish I would stop missing when I don't... Uh, I was muted for that whole conversation. These patterns may have connect have some have some connection with the hidden song in the roses. song. At least I'm unmuted now. Well, what do you think of that? Claps, oh, yeah. Clapping apples together. This is a Raji song. Ah, I was able to hear your song again. Our promise can finally be fulfilled. Araji, I will carry your song with me and keep on singing. Excuse me. Thank you, good Nara. Arayasa will not forget. Huh, somehow Arayasa's kind, kind of speaking normally. Thank you, Nara, Kailatsu, and Paimon. Arayasa and Araji are good friends, so he's been looking for this song for all for this song all this time. Araji is a timid friend who likes to hide in quiet places and sing softly. His songs can open unknown paths. Now that you understand the song, you'll be able to open the path to Ashvatha's concourses located here. Yep, you can leave the rest to us. Okay, let's meet at Festival Utsava, handsome Nara. The song that Araji left behind can awaken gloomy paths to the woods and open new paths. Play the song at the vintage flyer next to these tree hollow like objects to unlock special portals. Ah, I see. The Feywild portals. Oh, we gotta go over there. Oh, I need these. <laughs> Oh man, 
arch archery combat in this game is so boring. Uh, imagine using a bow. <laughs> Cry out my all these chests name. are like backwards, like they open towards the ledges instead of facing inward. So, I'm gonna give a bit of reflection about this. I, I like this whole quest just being so very fat, like huge, and having different little paths. But like different things to be taken care of. It is extremely text heavy though, I will say that. Like I feel this whole thing could have been voiced since it's such a major quest in a as far as like world quests go and uh, Sumeru. I also would love to just hear like what voice they would give like uh, the Arangara, honestly. Oz, reveal thyself. Oh, there's a challenge here, too. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I'll probably forget about that in like five minutes. Uh, uh. Oh, I get it. The flowers were like the note positionings. I didn't really pay attention to that at all. Ah, this is the Feywilds. Or is this the Fable Tilted Towers? Oh wow, there's multiple portals in here. Neat. Well, let's not delay this any further. Let's clean this up. <laughs> where's the special, uh... Where's the special power-up thing that it gives me the, uh, the charge attack? Uh, game? really intense right now and I don't know what I'm doing like where is the thing that like a uh, where is the thing that I get to help me I have yet to find it <sighs> oh 
Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Where, where? Do I have to grab him from outside and go back in? I am so confused. What do I do here? With it? With the withering stones? Okay, yeah. Yeah, the theme is really intimidating. But where do I get the, the power-up thing? Oh, is it in the tree roots? It must be in the tree root. It's not in the tree root. Where? <coughs> where do I go? Um... Yeah, where am I supposed to go? Do I go here? Uh, oh, I have to I have to do do a thing with uh, the flute. That's what it is. That's what I gotta do. Okay. Certified and smart. I need a healer, I just realized. I don't have a healer equipped. Uh sorry Yunjin, I need a healer. Um Let's grab Sayu. Can I go catch up on my sleep? Being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the. And where do you leave? Oh. I... Oh, another place. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm thoroughly confused right now. Oh. This seems oddly complicated just to get the Dendrograna. Maybe that's just me, though. It, I mean, this could just be just for difficulty purposes. A lot different than uh, doing the quest normally. Like, doing this normally. Ow. It might just be turrets, but it will make it a lot easier in the long run. <laughs> okay, there's one down there, and there's two one over here.
Wait, sweet, you, you didn't know you could do that. Sweet, I, I feel like that's kind of like an uneasy thing to figure out. If it's, if it's withering, anything should be affected by it. I guess my mind. I guess my mind worked differently. Check this out. Here's backup. Oz, reveal thyself. to join me at this hour. No. I know, I know, but just focused on the weak spots the whole time. Fair. Okay, I can easily just uh, dis distinguish, extinguish this, but like, I want to see what's with this. Propagate. Fire it up. Fresh and head back in. Oh, I'm so terrified. Scatter! Shadow Raven, let night fall! Germinate! Come on out! Imagine just standing still and not doing anything. Mission accomplished. Can I go back and sleep now? Man, the withering is so embarrassed. Local idiot just stops it with just nothing but a few tricks. Ooh, investigate. 
is this? The Vasara tree? Doesn't seem as lively as Paimon imagined. Yes, the corrosion from Marana is getting worse. It's not only the land. Marana exists in the, in the Sarva, too. Marana will speak of the horrors of death to the trees and flowers it grows. Life that did not know of death will then begin to wither. We have been fighting against Marana. Araji was also fighting hard against it. Araji, is that someone you mentioned? An R, &R who lived in the past? Yes. Thank you, Ar Araji. We've never met before, but your song sounds great. Please, leave the rest to me in our lesson in Paimon. So how do we get the Vasoma fruit? First, we must enter his dream and destroy Marana's lingering influence. Wait a second. When you say his dream, you mean that of the Vasara tree? Yes. You are ready? Reach out your hand, enter his dream. I'm back. And I uh, unmuted my mic. Okay. Alright, let's touch the Vasara tree and enter the dream. Reach your hand out to the Vasara tree. You have entered someone else's dream. Oh my. So this is what a dream looks like. Oh. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, holy shit. This looks incredible. Well, let's get to work. Treasure here. My question. Bigger heads, they must be smarter than Paimon. Hey. Huh. <sighs> 
get too close. And away I go. Yeah. That was dumb. Created an Oh, that's the uh I've seen that before. I'm doing the other thing. That's the giant uh whatever it's called plant. Fire it up! Oh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in there. That's there. does. No, we are doing more of the cabbage fairy cooking. We are progressing further with the cabbage patch fairies. And a little cooking, a little barbecue cookout they're doing. I did the Tenari quest um like a month or so ago at this point. That was a while ago. Aranara, yeah. I call them the cabbage fairies. Cabbage Fairy is funnier, in my opinion. Okay, so I was there, but I didn't get to go there. Oh yeah, I still have to do us. Uh, oh, does Needle have one now? Hang on. Oh, Needle has one now. Yeah, I have to do these still.
Okay, this might give me. I'm, I might end up be resetting myself, but I want to. What is down here? I need to know. Is this like a hidden treasure secret? It's nothing. I've been bamboozled. Well, that makes sense. But, so how do I activate it? I was not thinking I had to burn it, because it's like an Ara Nara thing, so I think fire would be round upon. And we're through. Cast Nightmare, Shadow of Corrosion. I'ma kill it. Check this out! Supporting fire! Link it there! Oz, reveal thyself! Five ants rest in the apartment. Another five ants. Now they are tense. <laughs> okay, that, that was cheesy. You really, tweet, tweet, you're doing, you're just sending these without like finishing any of your sentences. Uh, yes, my uh, Friday D&D session was cancelled, so... Unfortunately, uh... Yeah. Pick up. So this is... Yes, this is the Vasoma fruit. It is the accumulation of dreams and memories gathered by the Pissara tree. It is a 
precious fruit that can help us restore our strength. A large amount of energy must be consumed for the Ash Ashavatha tree to produce a bija. That is why we must offer Vasoma fruits. The Vasoma fruit saved from Narakai Lesti. You know what? Let's teach Arama the meaning of treasure. Now then, treasure refers to something very precious. This Vasoma fruit contains a lot of memories and dreams, and it can restore an Aranara's power. That makes it pretty rare and amazing, right? For things like the Soma fruits, that is a rare and precious. That are rare and precious. We call them treasure. Sorry, I was checking something. Ah, uh, so this is what treasure means. I got it. Thank you, Paimon. Thank you, Paimon. What are you thinking, Paimon, for? Anyway, Araja. Oh, anyway, Araja said we need, we'll need more than one Soma fruit. That means we need to find other Ash Vatha's con concourses, right? That's right. I'll do my ver my best to find them. So long, Narakai, Leston, and Paimon. See you later, Arama. Arama. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. Genshin, why didn't you have this one quest be voiced? It could have been awesome. You, it, like, all the characters get voices. It would just been really funny. And entertaining. Oh, right, yeah. We have a document, don't we? Nope, that's not it. Uh, we got a... We got a uh, where is it, actually? This. We got this whole thing. Oh, we're going there next. Oh, that's the clip. This is where you find the images. Oh, that's right by a statue of the seven. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, do this next one. Where is so itchy right now? Arama, here we are again. Yes, Nara Kailastin and Paimon, hello. This is Ara Sudraka. Oh, Nara Kailastin and Paimon, nice to meet you. Golden Nara is tall and strong, just like the song says. Paimon's really happy to meet you. Is Ara Sudraka a friend of yours, Arama? Yes, Ara Sudraka is also a song gatherer. Of 
before the seeds became saplings, be hidden the leaves together, and went to become went to the big tree of lesser Lord Kusanali to watch Nara sing as they drank water that made them become silly. Nara, Kailesin, and Paimon, do you know any song? Song. If it were if it were that green fellow, he wouldn't he should know plenty of them. The green fellow? What's that? A dusk bird? A shroom boar? No no, he's an he is the Animo Archon of Mondstadt, and also a bard. Whoa, wow. Then he must know a lot of songs. Amazing. Then the Animo Archon must be able to blow the songs to faraway places with the wind. Yep. Speaking of which, is there any song hidden here too? This seems to be the song left by Ara Ara Maha. So there should be a Vasara tree nearby. Which means we'll be able to collect of a soma fruit. Let's offer some help to Kylestine. Yay! I get to study the songs of the past with Nara. Aramaha loved loves this type of rose, but it was Arayama who discovered the way to hide songs and roses. Arayama was proud, so Arayama's roses are proud too. So the roses won't tell us. Only a smart Ara Nara, or maybe just a smart Nara, can find the hidden song. But Ara Sudraka is not smart enough. Don't worry. Kylestin is very smart. I am really, I am very smart. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Okay. So, one flower should be lowest, while another flower is highest. And the three in the middle are about even. Okay, I understand now. Oh, okay. Come, come, dreams of the sprouts, memories of the leaves. Look, shining pomegranates, glowing sensetias. I see. Aranaga's song and Aram Aramaha's song have the same source. What do you mean the same source? Songs are like rivers. They derive from the same origin. The source song. She is the home to all songs and the source of all great rivers. Then, it changes when it is sung for different memories and different voice stories. Just like how a great river diverges into creeks. Just like all the creeks eventually flow into the sea, all the songs eventually converge in, into one, into the source song. So Aranara song gatherers have to find all the songs. That way, we can find the source song. Thanks to you, Nara Kailestin and Paimon. Oh, thank you for finding Ara Maha's song. Yeah, what an impressive aspiration. Thank you, Nara Kailestin. Songs will keep growing in numbers and changing along the way. So how can so how can all the songs be found? And so will Aranara. I'm I think I'm reading a lot of these wrong by accident. I'm sorry. So if we keep doing our best, there will be no problem. Aramaha's song can attract healthy dendrograna. His ash his ash vasa vathas concourse should be sealed in the same way. Nara Kailestin found his song, which means we can get to Ashvatha's concourse right away. Yes, good luck, Nara Kailestin and Paimon Arama. I'm going to get ready for Festival Utsava. Leave it to us. See you at Festival Utsava, Arasudraka. Bye. Away. Okay, so this time we're, we are reviving the Dendrograna.
Okay, so I guess we go into the cave. That has to be it. Yep. I think you didn't open up entirely. Baby, lead the way. There's a huge opening. That's not what I wanted to do there. Like it's all dark and gloomy to like just have the, the boat light. Florida and I think this is basically we're in the bayou. We are in the bayou right now. Welcome to the bayou. Welcome to Bayou. I can't go off the waterfall. That was a weird camp. Oh, I almost hit a boat. Oh, God. Oh, I, I, I hate and like this, this rock overhead, how it just tucks underneath the gun. I like it because it's such a nice detail of like, oh, like water squirting away the rocks right there. I don't like it because it, my, my thalassophobia is telling you, oh, there's something underneath that way to grab you. I don't care how well acquainted we are as friends. If you did that to me, I would probably go into fight or flight. And I ain't no fl and I ain't no uh, bird. So that pretty much narrows down the options. Oh, a chest. Sweet. Destiny has brought me hither. Fisherman's maintenance.
oo-woos in my chat. That was a great spin show you did there. Oh. Okay, shaky camera is shaky. Direction. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I'm getting annoyed. If I keep running into these things, I swear. Propagate! Check this out! Here's backup! Okay, pal, let's just, uh, let's go in timeout. Into timeout. I'll keep this close. Nice. Hi, Maz. What's up? Paimon didn't expect Morana's corruption to be here, too. Zara Kyleskin is amazing. He drove Morana away easily this time, too. Ar Aramaha resisted very hard to keep Morana to the side. Without his help, things would have been much worse in the nearby forest. All the leaves should fall and rot, to the, on the, rot on the ground. The mushrooms would all become angry fungi. The birds and beasts would lie down and return to the ground, leaving only hard white things found that I I should speak and breathe. Actually, I should breathe more when I speak. I kind of just let all of the air out of my lungs and kind of rush through all my words. Yes, but thanks to our Kailas and Pylon, Marana has become less, a lot less troubling. If it were just Ar Arama alone, wouldn't be, have worked at all. I am too young and don't have many memories, so I am not as powerful as other Aranara. But with memories of adventuring together with Nara Kailestine and Paimon, my powers will grow. Do we need to enter the dream of the, Vasa, the, 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 the Vasara tree this time too? Yes, you must erase all traces of Marana's influence. That's right, if you are ready, Reach out your hand and enter his dream. Well, let's go. I touch the Vasara tree. You have entered someone else's dream. Thank you. 
Don't get too close. Oh, well, that's not fair. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I gotta hit the center one first, don't I? Oh, that did the trick. Our language is quite interesting. Oh, yeah. Ra oh, my gosh. I nearly forgot about Rana. Right, we're doing all this to get someone out of a coma.
get me that time. We now have the second Basoma fruit. Impressive. Mara Kylestin is not afraid of Mar Maranara, uh, Marana, and even your boss was away. It's a wonder you could defeat Banagni. Banagni. The many adventures we've been through aren't just for show, you know. That's great. The Nara Kylestin and Paimon must have many memories and stories, right? So many. I do, we do have a great many, yes. I see. If you don't mind, I'd love to hear Nara Kylestin and Paimon's stories. Sure, we've shared our stories with others before. Though it feels like so long ago. Speaking of which, I must saw a giant purple tree in the distance when while we were in the Vasara Tree's dream. I'm pretty sure we saw it in Havana Rana too. What was that? That's the very first Ash Bhattas Bhattas tree. Green. Uh. Oh God, they're gonna attack me. Oh God, hurry up. How should I put this? Dreams are like leaves in a stream. They soon float away with the water. Ow. You want to keep a dream in place. You have to let it grow roots. That way the dream- Oh, I'm- I'm-, I'm so, Oh god, no. Help me. <laughs> that way the dream will float away. It'll drift away. Arama, help me. Arama. Arama, please. It's so hard to explain. So the tree is- The tree of dreams is like their roots. Nara Kailesti is smart. This tree keeps Aranara's dream stable. Aranara can enter and exit the dreams and are able to connect with the Basara tree. So that's how it is. Then that the Vatarana in dreams would be maintained because of that tree. It is because of the tree of dreams. And I'm very concerned about Maranara, uh, Marana right now. We'll have to come up with a plan later. Ow. Ow. Let's get to the Bija first. We need help from friend Nara Kailas to climb on Mara and Arana. Yeah. Will you be looking for other Ashavathas come courses after this Ar Arama? Yes. So we'll see each other again for sure. Stay safe, Arama. You two are high left in Paimon. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Oz, reveal thyself! Check this out. Damn it. Oh, good, he drowned. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's everything down here. Let's just double check. Will this take me anywhere? No, it will not. So that leaves here. When do I get to discover this place? Oh, we're going to danger close territory. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. I'm scared. I am scared by what I might find. I, if I run into the boss here, I'm going to be very... Oh, good, it's on top of the surface. So, maybe no boss. Oh, yeah, I'm here. transformation is most splendid like a felicitous twist of fate in the face of certain doom you thought I wouldn't see you crazy where they put these things where is the is the dentro thing down here oh it's right there Transformation is propagate. That is not where I wanted to go, but we'll try it. <sighs> yeah, you know what? That's good enough. Ease me away from the winged Drake. Dead, right? Damage Ruin Guard. Damage Ruin Guard is deprived of energy. I didn't know that could happen. A lost energy block. Interesting. What do we have down here? Okay, well, we've tried. We tried, and nothing worked. It's so sad. Ah. Aramon, and an R&R &R we don't know. That seems par for the course of many of these. Greetings, Nara Kailest and Paimon. 
Hey there, Arama. Good to see you again. Who's this r, &R with you? Song note. Oh, Aradasa is also a song gatherer. He doesn't like talking. He believes singing is the, is the way is way better. Hmm. You have a point. Anyway, is there a song hidden here too? Yes. Aradasa said Arayama's song has been left here. If that's the case, there should be a Vasara tree nearby. And where there's a Vasara tree, there should be a Vasoma fruit. Let's help them out, Kylestin. Thank you. It's just as before. The song is hidden amongst the roses. Nara, Kylestian, and Paimon are smart. I'm sure you can figure it. Find it right away. Since it's for Rana. Yep, leave it to us. Let me through. Ah! So... There we go. Play it, Toma. Dang it. This is the song Arayama left behind. Press forward and sing, even if the path is filled with flame. Even if the pale moonlight on that night resembles the eyes of a dying beast. For we are the children of the valley of life, for we are the seeds of courage. So this is the song we found? For the pomegranates that wish to bear fruits, for the roses that yearn to blossom. Distant sky, yet so close at hand, a promise ever unbroken, a city that returns to you in your dreams. I see, I see it now. We clear out the obstacles along the way to Ashavatha's concourse using Ara Yama's song. That makes sense. Wait a minute, what makes sense again? Through Ara Yama's song, of course. Is this something that might be hard to grasp if you are not an Ara Nara? <clears throat> I don't know, let me drink some water and uh, rehydrate. I might need to start making tea for uh, streams like this. I talk a lot when I do these, like, voiced things. Anyway, Aradasa, how about you go back and prepare for Festival Utsava? Leave Ashvatha's concourse to me. Song notes. Look, I'm with you. After all, we promised to help you. Help you get those Vasoma fruits. Press forward and sing. The song that Arayama left behind. If you play it to a Claustra Flora, you can you, you can cause certain obstacles to appear. Yep. I was just sitting right there. I will blindly fall to that. Right after I get this one that's down here. I just can't hurt.
Okay, so... It should just be down this giant hole. It's a lot less of a hole in the just a small pit. This makes me really want... I'm, I'm, I want, like, another rhythm game already. When is the next Rhythm Game event going to happen? Oh. God damn. A lot more than I thought game feel. In this game, but goddamn, that was. <gasps> Why am I back here? Genshin. I have to. I have to haul ass all the way back over there now. Oh my god. And this is the cl oh. This is the closest I can Let's unlock that waypoint down there, shall we? And let's I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out my characters here, I think. Let's jam! I did uh, I oh, I'm falling apart now out of nowhere. I am I hit my controller when I my, my, just my, my face.
Okay, let's set up a temporary waypoint. That way I don't have to do this whole thing all over again. set up first.
Well, that wasn't much help. I was expecting one of these. But it is what it is. Oh, that's not helpful at all. By royal de Scatter! Spring forth! Power core! Yes! Pyrotechnic! Time to rock! That was the easiest fight with one of the things I've ever had. That was so easy, what the hell? Ooh, what's in here? Maybe a growth serum? Next up, our third of the Soma fruit. Let's do this for the. Let's do this for Rana. I'm so sorry, Ariyama. We never realized that Marana's corruption had, had even reached here. When I was a teeny tiny seed, I heard stories about Ara Muhukunda, Arayama, and Araji. Arayama didn't really like Nara, so he created the Phantasmal Barrier. He was happy to see the Nara's frustrated faces. There was one Nara who saw through his Ara Rakalari. No matter how hard he tried, that Nara always found a way to break through. They then they slowly became friends. Well, that's how some friendships form. What happened to Arayama in the end? At the end of the story, a great catastrophe occurred. He protected a lot of Ara Nara and Nara. Ah, no wonder his song could disperse all those illusions. It's because their game has ended. Oh, that... Now I'm sad. Let's go. Enter the dream. Well, this is, uh, open and empty. Luckily we're not too late. Oh, look at that, uncaptured grass. Or is this actually a high definition of captured moss? Either way. I just, I don't like how Genshin constantly just, like, zooms in the camera during combat or when you're doing something. Like, if it zooms in because I'm near a surface, that's fine. But, like, in the middle of combat, just auto-zooms? Why does it do that? Like, it does not make any sense to me. Ah. Ah.
Where do we go? Oh. We bounce. That's where we go. Okay, where do we have to go here? I doubt we have to go down. Oh, I see. Okay, so who's the boss we have to play? More mushrooms? I realized I was sitting away from my bike there. Sorry about that. In case I was sounding soft. Hey, a complete domains. I'll take that. <sighs> oh, pick up. We got the third Pasoma fruit. According to the Araja, to Araja, three of the summer fruit should be enough, right? Yes, that will do. Thank you, Nara Kailasan and Paimon. You've been, you're the, uh, you've been the one helping us. Well, it's because you're helping uh, Ara Arana, and Arana is my friend, so thank you. And Nara Kailasan has helped, is, has helped Arayasa, Naradasa, and Arasudraka find the ancient songs. They're my friends too. Thank you for that, too. Finally, I'm so happy that I got to go on adventures with Nara Kailasan and Paimon. So, thanks for that as well. 
I haven't had a good time too. Thank you, Arayam. Ar uh, Arama. Speaking of which, Ashvatha's concourses look like look a lot like ancient ruins. Is there a story behind that? That's a story from long, long ago. I wasn't even a seed then. It was a time when all Nara could see Aranara, and not a single Aranara was afraid of Nara. Back then, Nara and Aranara helped each other. They played and sang together just like Nara, Kailashin, and I. Song gatherers like Arayasa originally learned their craft from, Ar from Nara. Ashvatha's concourses used to be there, used to be where Nara and Aranara played together. That was a long time ago. After the horrible, horrible catastrophe that occurred, Vanarana was devastated, and the concourses were left desolate. So that's what happened. Yes, and it's very, it's a very scary tale indeed. I was lucky that there are no, there are not memories to me, only stories. Don't worry, things will get better, right, Guy Lustin? That's right. We found Ashvatha's concourse and obtained the tree of the Soma fruits. Next, I gotta help prepare for the festival at Sava and call some of my friends back from the forest. Best of luck, Arama. Paimon's super looking forward to the festival. Me too. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Arama. Rule of three. Are we done now? Oh my gosh, I think we're I think we're nearly finished with this now. Where do we have to go? Um Uh Now what? To acquire Bija and help Rana, you must help and fi find and help our. There's more. But wait, there's more. Call right now, and you too can receive a special premium package of goddamn bullshit. Well, we're back in the APAM woods. Might as well go. I think it's APAM. Is it APAM? Back in the mountains. <laughs> Ara Riken. Oh, he's got a cute little sword. I like from from this angle. It looks like he's got. Big eyes. Ah, Nara. Don't be afraid. We're not bad, Nara. I'm on Paimon, and he's Kyleston. You're Ara Riken, right? We are friends. Uh, oh, Araja sent us here. That's right. We've got some questions. Wait, there's been strange Nara around, and that's why I was a bit scared. We didn't mean to scare you. It's just that we didn't didn't know you were so absorbed in. Hmm. Since you can see Ara Raiken and be friends with Araja, the forest must recognize you. You can't be bad, Nara. Mm hmm. You are good, Nara. Ara Raiken is not afraid. Did you say that you have questions for Ara Raiken? Yeah, that's right. We would like to know more about the delicious. Oh, 
we would like to know about the suspicious Nara around Mamara village. We tell Ara Raiken about what happened in brief, understood, and it's a different story. Arana is good Arana is good Aranara. Protected Vana often and helped rule Nara always. Are what Ar Arana does. Ara Raiken once helped rule Nara. Arana said that Marana's avatar is taking little Nara away. So Ara Raiken helped. Recently, the local Vana, I mean the forest. I meant, ah, uh, I meant the forest. The forest and the stream are always crying. Maybe it's because of Marana. Marana bad. Marana refers to the withering, and Vana, well, that, that's gotta mean, that's gotta mean the forest. Well, that's some new Aranara words learned. Wait, does the forest cry too? Maybe it's something only that the Aranara can hear. Sunshine brings happiness, but too much sunshine means less water. Water makes us grow, and no water means withering. Songs bring happiness and power. Getting sick makes us upset, and being sick for too long means withering. It's the same for Vana and Aranara. Ah, but mint is different. Mint. So strong. The forest has been crying harder lately. Ara, wait, why did, why did he mention mint? And just goes right back to the forest is crying. This man is ADHDing harder than me. Is it because Marana is harming the forest? Ara Raiken is not sure. It smells like Marana, but not but not really the same. But Ara Raiken knows that some bad, dirty stuff are making the forest sick. In places Ara Raiken can't see. If the forest keeps being sick like this, the super giant Marana will come and suck all living things away. All the flowers will wither and leaves will fall. The fruits will go bad and the mushrooms will stop growing. No more mushrooms? That means no more chicken mushroom stew skewers. We'll help. That's right, we're here to help. Ah, and around the area of sickness, there is a weird Nara. That might be all the bad Nara you want. That might be the bad Nara you want. Good Nara help Ara Raiken. And Ara Raiken takes you to him. Looks like we can help each other. What do you think? That's exactly what I'm thinking. And it's not Arby's. Thank you, but Marana is scary. Nara will die. Oh, we've dealt with it before. Nara Kailesten defeated Ma Marana before? You're very strong. And you're golden Nara, like the legendary Na Nara Varuna. You look reliable. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to us. Now, we've got another question. Tell us about the super bad, super dirty stuff. I've seen many weird hilly Nara with filthy stains on them. They've been acting suspiciously around the giant Iron Mountain. Hilly Nara. The giant Iron Mountain? You mean that super big ruin guard over there? Speaking of which, something seems off with that ruin machine. Yeah, it has no core. Hey, that's true. Other ruin machines have a core that looks like they're looks like an eye. Our Raiken knows nothing of ruin machines. As for the giant Iron Mountain, it has been there here since a long, long time ago. A long, long time. How long is that exactly? The time it takes for a tiny seed to grow into a giant tree that can touch the sky. Oh wow. That sure is a long time. Well, it shouldn't be hurting the forest if it has been here for that long. Bad people might come here because of it though. You have a point? Bad guys like the Fatui, Treasure Hoarders, and the Abyss Order. Super bad guys. Bad, Nara. Bad. Either way, let's investigate, shall we? Who knows? We might even find some treasure. Thank you. Ara Raiken also saw that there are other strange things besides the suspicious Nara. Alright then, let's go. Don't fall behind now, Ara Raiken. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so... Oh, I found another one of these.
Yeah, I think I might want to end it here for tonight. We've almost been going for three and a half hours. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to call it here for the night. And we did get a lot done. I'm just going to check in with some things. See if I can actually do bounties here now. And then we'll do some uh, standard banner wishes. And then I'll probably call it. Because aside from getting a lot done. And it being like three and a half hours like I normally do. My throat's getting like real dry. From doing all the talking with these R and R quests, I gotta read everything. I gotta. And with this, I can now do bounty. I unlocked furniture. Oh, I just I just noticed the wings of the forest. I love how they look. Oh, the wings of the forest look so nice. Oh, uh, I think I have two from last I gathered. If I double check. Oh, I have three now. I need ten more to upgrade, though, so... I think I'm just gonna wait to submit these. Oh, sweet, I got fifty now. Oh, I am on a roll. I created another universe and founded Paris. But for now, uh, let's get some wishes going. Also, I have noticed that, um, mm, uh, everything seems to be running a lot smoother on my computer right now. And I'm not going to say it's because I did something te technical with that computer. Earlier in the week, um, I finally, uh, closed a lot of tabs on Google Chrome. So I have a lot less than I normally do well had and I think that's actually helped the performance of my computer in general because of how much uh, RAM Chrome likes to just soak up I don't want to fully believe it that's that was the case but it's been running well so far while I've been going browsing uh, discord so who knows I may have done some. I may have just been smart. Anyways. Let's get these wishes underway. Jump. Next. Jump. Next. Also jump. Next. Jump. Glorious, glorious jump. Ah. Oh. Okay, we got two more left. Let's see what we get. Something good, please. Next. 
Okay. Okay, last one. Last one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, uh... I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my Chungus Velociraptor. I'm gonna have him press the button, which is, uh, Snoof. Give me luck. Come on, Chungus. Chungus wins. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Thank you, Chungus. I use the Chungus luck and I get myself a sword. Oh yeah, I can refine. Whatever's it going on over there. I actually need one more. That works. Look. Nice. What is my five star pity? I don't know. I'll have to check it off stream because it. Well, actually, it, it might. They might have fixed the the cursor issue. Pretty rock I, I and roll. Them. I will check. Please don't ruin it. Please let the cursor work. Okay, there we go. Fixed. So that was seven. So, 25, 40, 45, oh, no, I'm doing, I'm counting, I'm counting wrong, what am I doing? 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60, 67. My pity is 67 right now. So, uh, this will be fun. Hey, I just came up with an awesome new riff. Want to hear it? <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, Yeah, anyway guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. I hope you all enjoyed. In the meantime, let's go ahead and find us someone to raid for tonight. Uh, I'm sure I can find someone that we can raid. There's got to be a lot of people right now. I, I, I don't want to do Rabbit though if he's streaming because we've done, I've, I've raided Rabbit so many times. So, who is on right now? Uh, Distortion Devil with Cult of the Lamb. Slavsius playing Destiny. Why is Dota on my recommended? Oh, they're doing their international thing. Is that like a championship thing they're doing? Okay. Uh, every single time I check my recommended, I see Jerma. I don't know who Jerma is. Or what he is by this point. I only know him through the memes I've seen, and at this point I'm too afraid to even like 
check on an actual stream. Like, I feel he needs to live in just clips and memes. Because that's where his spirit lies. Like, he, does, he doesn't exist anywhere else but memes. Uh, Weezilla. Uh, playing Guild Wars 2. Yeah, let's read Bleezilla. <coughs> let's read Bleezilla. He's a PNG tuber like me. Uh, I don't know what he's... Yeah, he's playing Guild Wars 2. This should be fun. Bleezilla. Alrighty. You can go say hi if you want to go. If you want to stay for the stream, if not, you can go. Feel free to go view anyone else. All up to you. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>